All right, Salawam. First off, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And this is Sid Salawam to all the Akim out here that's doing and pushing the work <clears throat> in truth and in sincerity. Um, I want to go on this lesson. Um, and hopefully, you know, through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, this is uh, an edit extremely edifying lesson um about um apologizing or repenting for the iniquities of our forefathers okay um which is you know an important uh thing in this uh truth man um this is jeremiah 11 and 9 it says and the lord said unto me a conspiracy is found among the men of Judah and among the inhabitants of Jerusalem. They are turned back to the iniquity of their forefathers. Okay, and, and you know, our people, which are the children of Israel, okay, the iniquities of our forefathers is written uh, all throughout the scriptures, okay? My people wanted, you know, uh, Sodom and Gomorrah. The Lord destroyed uh, that. Um, you have uh, Noah, um, the story of Noah. You know, when the Lord flooded the earth. Okay, our people didn't want to um, listen um, to Noah about uh, the fact that it was going to rain. The same way that they don't want to listen to the prophets today that are telling them that America is going to be destroyed and. You know, the RFID chip and uh, martial law and, you know, just to name a few things that are about to happen, okay? Um, so many different things, you know. Our people are following the uh, ways of everything that is opposite of the scriptures and who we naturally are, okay? So our people, as the scripture says, are turned back to the iniquities of their forefathers, which refused to hear my words and they went after other gods to serve them the house of israel and the house of judah have broken my covenant which i made with their fathers okay and um the covenant that the lord made with the fathers um the fact that he made that covenant with our fathers, okay, which we are our fathers, okay, reincarnation is in the scriptures, and, um, you know, I'll show um, that in this lesson, okay, but this uh, praying for or apologizing and repenting for the sins of our forefathers, okay, the reason why we even have the covenant uh, or, or, or the Lord is with us today is because of, you know, of course it's through, um, you know, mercy, the Lord having mercy on us, but the Lord gave us the covenant uh, bef beforehand, man, okay? The Lord uh, chose us as his people, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans predominantly, okay, um, is the, the people, Okay? And the Lord gave that covenant to us, and that been passed down to us through the many ge generations. Okay, which we're regenerated. Um, we're just a regeneration of a generation that was uh, here before. Okay, so our people have broken the covenant of the Lord, and. It's still prevalent to this day, today, how wicked our people are. And we don't know what we personally have done in the past life, okay? We don't know what who we was or anything like that. But um, apologizing and repenting and trying to continue to do what is necessary to stay on this path, is, is that soul's character. Okay, especially since Yahweh Bashem Yahweh knows exactly what uh, we did, okay, and who we are through the Spirit, okay. Second Timothy one and three. I thank 
Yahweh Bashim Yahushah, whom I serve from my forefathers with pure conscience. Okay? And that's why the scriptures, you know, the scriptures say the things that was written aforetime was written for our learning. Okay, it's through um the spirit that the Lord um allowed these different situations to happen throughout the scriptures. Okay, which our forefathers have done, you know, all of the stories and stuff like that, you know, of the, the different um, things that they went through as far as, you know, being men of the Lord and, you know, the, the wicked people. Okay. And, you know, you have a lot of people that sit up there saying that the Bible is uh, written by a man. Yeah, it is written by a man. Okay. It's written by our forefathers, man. <laughs> which a lot of people don't get that. Okay. But we we know how to serve the lord okay based off of what our forefathers did and what our forefathers um didn't do okay we went into slavery because of the fact that our uh people didn't listen to the lord okay we're still paying for the sins that our forefathers have done okay and the last thing we want to do is continue to displease the Lord and try to get in on the good, the Lord's good side. Okay. Um, it says, whom I serve from my forefathers with, a, with pure conscience. And we have that, that understanding now. We have that pure understanding now of, you know, that our people back then didn't fully have. Okay. We have a more complete understanding now of where we went off and how we went off and what we have to do now in order to attain i mean attain um salvation well the elect has attained it you know the rest of israel uh, didn't as the scripture says it says that without ceasing i have remembrance of thee and my prayers night and day okay so we're supposed to pray without ceasing okay and one of them them, them prayers a part of your prayer should be um, asking for forgiveness from all for the things that our forefathers have done. You know, the ways of how we are today and the ways how we was back in our uh, past lives, okay? Um, it says, Greatly desiring to see thee, being mindful of thy tears, that I may be filled with joy. Okay? So, you know... Man, we desire to see Yahweh by Shem Yahweh man. Okay? When when that time comes, when the Lord comes, man, the, the pain that we're going through um, in this day right now, you know, the suffering that we have to go through, you know, we we have to go through this, man, in order to to hopefully get that uh, salvation, man. And when, we, when the elect get that salvation, that would be one of the most joyful moments that you know anybody could could imagine okay so apologizing for the sins of our forefathers should be something very small man for us to do that should be something that's that's easy i should say okay you know because our for we went off you know as a nation we all went off okay um, it's uh, 1 Kings 14 and 22. And Judah did evil in the sight of the Lord, and they provoked him to jealousy with their sins, which they had committed above all that their fathers had done. And today, man, you look at how we was um, today, or how we are today, man, we, we're doing extremely worse than what our forefathers have done. Okay? The fact, man, it's all a, it's all a trickle-down effect. Okay? The fact that our people didn't listen before, okay, it, it, it trickles down to this generation and now we're we're more messed up than um we was back then. Okay? You have people sitting up there saying, um our uh our fathers, you know, our our grandparents and stuff like that failed us, okay? But when you look at it, man, we were our parents parents and you know their parents and you know we 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 were were along among this uh, among 
the people that taught these people, you know what they know. Okay? So we are um off just as much. Okay, and we have to apologize for that, man, because you know, we we was niggas um in this world, in this life that we know now, and we was niggas, okay, in the world uh that or the lives that we was before. And that's how we should look at it, man. And we, you know, have to continue to um do what it takes to 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 get to where Yahweh Basim Yahweh wants us, man. Okay? And stop trying to make the Lord out to what we want him to be. Okay? It's ex Exodus 34 and 7. Keeping mercy for thousands, for forgiving iniquity and transgression and sin, and that will by no means clear the guilty. So the Lord doesn't clear the guilty. Okay? It says, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children. Okay? So... You know this. This is um, a a key key part of the scripture. It says, "Visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children." Okay. It says, "And upon the children's ch children, unto the third and the fourth, I mean, into the fourth generation." Okay. So the Lord basically, when you wrap all this up, you know the Lord can get you in this life. And he could get you in the next life, man. Okay? Um, that's one one reason with with our scripture. Um fear him. So hell. Where the scripture says, uh, Matthew ten and twenty eight, and fear not them which could kill which kill the body, but are not able to kill the soul. But rather fear him which is able to destroy both soul and body in hell. So the Lord can get you from off of your past life, man, and, and, and have you come up in a jacked up body or, you know, have you coming back with a um a, a ailment or whatever the case may be, you know, or, or even just bring judgment on you to, to kill you. You know, based off of what you did in the past life, you know, the Lord... As the scripture says that will no no by no means clear the guilty. That's why you have a lot of people, or, or or you know babies dying and stuff like that. You know that's because the Lord is getting them. The Lord is the one who decides whether somebody lives or die. Okay, not not man. Okay, um, Deuteronomy twenty four and sixteen: The fathers shall not be put to death for their children. Neither shall the children be put to death for their fathers. Okay, so in this life, you know, in your current life, okay, I'm, I'm going to go on. It says, every man shall be put to death for his own sin. Okay, so in your life, okay, as life is right now, okay, you could be an adulterer. But that don't mean that your children are going to die the death of an, of an adulterer. Okay. Your children could, could, could be adulterous, but that don't mean that you're going to die the death of adultery if your children are adulterous, okay? So the sins that a person does, it falls upon you, okay? And with, with that burden that we have, okay, it goes back to this scripture, okay? The Lord can make you pay personally from off of the, the sins that you as your fathers did. And now you are your own father's child. If if that makes sense. Okay. So the Lord can bring you back and jack you up. And make you pay for the sin that you have done in your past life or even in this life. Okay. Uh, Matthew 23 and 31. Wherefore. You be witnesses unto yourselves that you are the children of them which killed the prophets. Okay? So, I want to see what this word children says. Okay? It says, rarely used for the young animals, generally used of the offspring of men. In a restricted sense, the male's offspring, one born of a father or a mother... Okay. Um I believe that's pretty much um it, okay?
but but basically a lot of these people out here that walk by and they persecute um the the, the men that's that's teaching this word they're still they're the same because everything is reincarnated the kingdoms which america is is nothing but um rome all over again sodom and gomorrah um egypt okay um and in all of these societies you have people that came against the prophets okay and it says that you are the children of them which killed the prophets fill you up then the measure of your fathers okay so the 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 thing is right that you know the 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 sins the transgressions all the faults that we did in this this life including the ones that um we did in our past life that all comes down on us and that's a burden that we have to um carry okay and and we have to repent okay from off of the the sins that we have done um first kings 8 and 33 it says, when thy people Israel be smitten be down before the enemy, which we're smitten down right now, man, okay? We're, we're currently being oppressed, but even in the near future, we're the, the, the so-called white man, Esau, okay, is about to uh, come down even hard on you people, man. Why? Because of the things that we did in our past lives, okay, the, which the Lord is making us pay for that, okay? And the, and the wickedness that our people are doing today. Okay, it says, because they have sinned against you and shall turn again to you. Okay, and how do you turn again to something that, you know, if, in, in this life, okay, um, you have people who never knew the Lord whatsoever. They never knew the truth about Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. So how can a person turn again to the Lord if they never knew him? Okay, that's something that should be taken into consideration. The fact that you turn again to the Lord means that if, at, at a point in time, you knew the Lord. So when did we know the Lord? That was in our past life. Okay, so our people, uh, it says, and so turn again to you and confess thy name. You see, we knew the Lord's name back then. Okay, and people played around with it. People are playing around with it not now. Okay, so right now we got to confess the name of the Lord, which is Yahweh, which is the Most High. Bahashem stands for in the name of, and Yahweh Shah, which is the Son. Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shah. Okay, God is just a title, man, like King. Okay, it's not a name. Jesus is not the name. Okay, it says, and pray. Which we have to pray for the, the sins that we have done in this life and in the past life. And make su supplication unto you in this house. Then hear thou in heaven and forgive the sin of thy people Israel. And bring them again into the land which thou gavest unto their fathers. Which he gave that land unto us. Where he's gonna, the, the Lord is going to give that land back to the ones who sincerely repent. Okay. And come back to him. It says... Um, I believe that's it on this scripture. I'm going to go to the next scripture. Okay. Um, this is Hebrews 7 and 22. It says, But by so much was Yahweh Shah made a surety of a better testament, and they truly were many priests because they were not suffered to continue by reason of death. By this man, because he continues forever, has an unchangeable priesthood. Wherefore, he is able to also to save them to the uttermost that come unto Yahweh by him. Okay, so you, you, the Lord is going to save the ones who come unto Yahweh through him, you know, through Yahweh Shah. Seeing he ever lives to make intercession for them. Okay, so the Lord makes intercession for the men. Okay, let's say, you know, you, you're coming to this knowledge. Okay, or you, you're praying and you're, you're sincere about this thing. Okay, the Lord 
is going to make intercession um, to you for the Most High or to the Most High, to Yahweh. Okay, you know, like you know this, you know he he prayed, you know he he he's, you know he's asking for forgiveness from from all for the the life, you know the things that he done in this life and in, and what he done in the past life. Okay, those are the the the, the things that Yahweh saw are saying for us. Okay. He's basically the middleman. You can't cut out the middleman and just get to Yahweh. Okay? It says, um, For such an high priest became us, who was holy, harmless, undefiled, separate from sinners, and made higher than the heavens. Okay? Which, you know, Yahweh saw, if, you know, this topic is, is, is a deep topic. Okay? Um, Yahweh saw, was 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 uh holy okay harmless undefiled separate from sinners okay he didn't have he 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 died for a reason okay the one who the world really calls jesus died for a reason but a lot of people don't understand why he died okay i'm gonna continue it says who needs not daily is those high priests who offer up sacrifice First for his sins, then for the people's. For this he did once when he offered up himself. Okay? So Yahweh saw the world the world and he really calls Jesus. He didn't sin he didn't sin. Okay? He was separate from the sinners. Okay? But this scripture says first for his own sins. So when did he sin? He sent he sent is uh king solomon okay so you know he offered up sacrifice for first for his own sins then for the people's okay because it said it says for this he did once okay so the lord did uh uh you know go off you know just like us in fact he went off his adam okay isaac Melchizedek, or well, those are the ones who who we know is you know who he was reincarnated, but the Lord, okay, he had to pay for what he did in the past life lives, and then when he came back, is the one who the world anybody calls Jesus. He got it right, okay, but he still had to pay, okay, for for what he did, okay, and it's through that example that we have to follow. Okay, so if Yahweh Shah asked for forgiveness from all for the sins that he did in the past life, how much more us? And with that, I want to say, Shalom.